What's up guys, it's me Lego Paradise here and today I'm going to show you how to build this Lego Fallout Vault Boy bobblehead. As you can see, I've based my design on the famous vault Tech bobbleheads found throughout the Fallout games. And I think I've done a pretty good job at recreating all the proportions and details of the original. So since this is a bobblehead, I thought it was important to include the ability for the head to actually bobble. And you can see how this works. If we press down on the head, you can see how it bounces about and springs back up with little resistance, just like a real bobble head. And of course that works even if you just shake the bottom of the statue. You can see how the head moves from side to side. And I think that works really well, considering this is made entirely out of Lego pieces. So I'll be showing you how to build it in several sections, starting with the stand of the bobble head. Okay, so here are the pieces you'll need to build the bobblehead stand. And once you have your parts, you can start by taking a 4x4 plate and all four of your bracket pieces. So with the side with the 2x2 two two stud area, you can place this underneath the 4x4 plate, just like that. And you'll need to place each of these brackets with the two studs on the outside facing in a different direction, leaving a one stud gap in between all of them to create this 5x5 five five platform. And then in these gaps, you can fill them in with some 1x4 plates and a 1x1 one one plate. And then on top of this, you can take some 1x2 tiles and place them like this. And your 2x2 two two jumper tiles with a stud in the center can go above the 1x2s. And you can fill in this gap with a 1x3, or it can also be a 1x2 and a 1x1, and two 2x2 two two plates or tiles at the back, with a single 1x2 in the middle to create this nice smooth surface with the two exposed studs. And then you can place this down for a minute while we build the sides of the stand. So they're nice and simple to build. Just take a 2x3 a plate and a 1x2 tile, and these two 2x2 two two slope pieces and attach them just like this and you can place them down once you've built them you'll need to build four of these and these create the curved round sides of the platform since I thought this was the best way to achieve that round stand for the bubble head that's just like the one in the game so once you have all four of your sides you can attach them to the platform and they quite simply line up with the 2x2 two two exposed studs on the side. You can see that should sit nice and flush with the rest of the bubble head base. And you can just keep on clipping them around till you used all of them up to create this nice rounded and curved platform. And you can see the two studs where the Volt Boy will stand. All right, next we'll build the legs and the hips of the Volt Boy. So we can start off by taking a 1x4 slope piece and a 1x1 plate and just clip that at the top there. Then take a 1x3 plate and place it so it sticks out at the end and another 1x3 plate and secure that all in place at the back there. Then you can take a 1x1 plate with the horizontal clip attachment and attach that there. And then here's where you can take a 1x1 round plate with this black bar attachment and clip that to the clip plate and this will form the shoe of the Volt Boy and especially with the 1x1 one one slope piece you can see if you fold that up how that can create the shoe for the leg so then all you need to do is just build another one of these legs since they're both identical so then once you have both of your legs you can actually put these aside for now while we build the hips. So we can start off by taking our 1x2 slope pieces and a 2x2 plate and place the blue slopes at the bottom and the yellow slope pieces above them with the plate being behind them. And then you can smooth this off with a yellow 1x2 plate and a blue 1x2 plate. And you can copy this structure twice for the front and back of the hips. And you can see this is actually the start of the Vault Boy's Vault Suit. 
and see where the stripe around the lower half begins. And then once you have both of these halves, just make sure they're nice and aligned properly. And then with the back half, you can take a one by one plate and place it on the left here, inside, just like that. And you'll see why that is in just a minute. And then with the front half of the hips, you can take a one by one plate and place it on opposite side, just on the right there. And then to join these two pieces together, we're going to need to build a small attachment. And this is made out of a one by one plate with this attachment on the side and a one by one tile. And the tile can just clip on the end there. And this can be clipped onto the one by one plate, just like that. And that tongue just helps smooth this off, since this is actually the neatest way of attaching this all together. And then with this Technic 1x2 brick, just clip that inside here. And on either side of the Technic 1x2 brick, just place a couple of 1x1 plates in yellow there. And then we can clip these two halves together. But before we do that, you're going to want to attach the legs. So the legs can go on either side, but if you want them to be on the front, it's best to clip them on this side. So you just place the exposed part of the 1x3 plates, just so they line up nicely with the yellow 1x1s. And you can see that's already starting to look like the bottom half of the Vault Boy. And it's really simple, just clip that other one where the 1x1 plate is onto this attachment. And there you have the legs. And these legs can actually clip directly on to the bobblehead stand. And you can see if you want the bobblehead to be in the center, all you have to do is just clip it so the feet are directly on these jumper plates with the 2x2 two two tiles being at the back. And that ensures that the Vault Boy is nice and centered on the stand. Next, we're going to build the body and the arms of the Vault Boy. And once you have your bricks, we can start off by taking three of these blue 1x3 slope bricks and a 1x3 plate and just clipping them all on to the plate, just like that. And that'll be the back of the Vault Boy's torso. And then we can take the two other blue 1x3s and attach them like that and just place a yellow 1x3 slope in the middle. And that will be the front. You can see the stripe of the vault suit up in the front there. So then next we'll build the mechanism to attach all of these pieces together. And that's quite simple. Just take a one by one brick with a Technic hole and a normal Technic pin and clip that in there. And then take this pneumatic T-shaped piece and a one by one stud with a hole in the center and clip that on just so slightly so it's just barely clipped onto the end of the T-shaped piece. And then you'll need to attach these two pieces together. So making sure you've got it in the correct direction, you should have one stud facing this way on the brick and the other stud facing this way on the T-shaped piece. And you can clip that in a bit more so they're a bit more lined up. And you can just leave that like that for now. Then you're gonna to wanna to take a one by one brick with two studs on either side and you can just slide that in. So that's again opposite sides, the stud is opposite to the T-shaped piece stud. And just clip that in so it's about equal distance apart from each other. It doesn't have to be exact because we can make that exact by clipping it all to this piece. So with these two studs, they're going to want to go on the part which has the yellow stripe. And you can clip one side up down first and then push the other side down as well. And then that should help you align this piece so it's actually in the middle of these two pieces. So as you can see on my one, I've done it actually a bit too far towards this side. So I'm just centering it out a bit, just making it a bit more even. And then you can push this down just a little bit so it's a bit more in line with these two pieces. Then once all of this is complete, you can take two one by two bricks and attach them on either side at the bottom there. And then take two one by one bricks with a stud on the outside and clip them 
a bump for the 1x2s so that the stud is exposed on either side. And this is the elbow joints where the arms will be attached to. So then we're almost done with the body. Just take a 2x2 satellite dish piece and clip that on top. That forms a nice collar to the vault suit. And to build the neck, you're going to want to take a 2x2 round brick and your magnet piece and just clip the magnet directly on top of the neck. And this will make a lot more sense once we build the head, which we'll get to after this. So then once this whole assembly is complete, you can attach both sides together and that stud sticking out should clip onto this back piece. And you'll see if you've built it so it's got a bit of a gap, you should be able to just slowly clip that in and just push that so both sides are aligned and fit together very nicely. So now that the body is complete, it's time to build some arms. So of course you don't have to build these exact arms, you can have whatever pose you want for your Vault Boy, but I've gone with the classic thumbs up pose. So to create the arm, you'll need to take one of these 1x3 slope pieces and a 1x2 smooth slope. And they can just be attached directly onto here. And then a 1x1 brick with a stud on the side can go facing this way. And this will actually be the arm next to the thumbs up arm. So the one that sits on his hip. And then to just create the appearance of a hand clenched into a fist, you can attach a one by one tile onto the stud on the side. And we can clip this onto the body just like this. And of course, since this stud is actually exposed, you can even turn the arms around a bit if you want it to. And then now we can build the arm with the thumbs up sign. So this also uses one of these slope pieces and a 1x2 plate or tile. And then you can take a beige 1x2 plate for the colour of the hands and attach that on the inside. But actually before you do that you just want to take a 1x1 plate in blue just to extend the arm a bit. And then you can put your 1x2 plate in beige over there. And another one on the top there. And you can see how this is shaping up to be a hand design. And you can smooth the bottom of the hand off with a 1x1 tile. And I've used a 1x1 tile that's a quarter curve just to create a slight appearance of a finger or a thumb. And you can attach that to the body angle that upwards. And with the body complete, it's really easy to attach both halves together. All you need to do is take your legs and align the Technic pin with the Technic brick in the legs. And if you've placed a brick in the right place, once you clip them together, the body and the legs should align perfectly with each other. And a great thing about this type of connection is it even means you can rotate the top half of the body to create a bit of a more dramatic pose. Or you can just keep it nice and aligned in the center. Finally, we can complete the Vault Boy by building his head. And here are all the rest of the pieces you'll need to complete it. And in case you're wondering where to get some of these rarer parts, such as this magnet in the magnet stand, I'll leave a link in the description to a list of all the sets which the less common parts are available in. Because while I've tried to use the most common, readily available pieces for the Vault Boy, I have had to use a few specialized, rarer parts for some of the details and functionality. So check out the links in the description if you need to know where to find some of the rarer parts. But we can get started on the Vault Boy's head by building his face, starting with the chin and the mouth. So for this, you'll take a 1x4 brick and two 1x1 slopes and just attach them underneath the brick on either side and then you can fill in the gap in the middle with a 1x2 plate and a 1x2 tile. To create the mouth I used a cool technique where I 
slided a 1x2 white tile in the middle of the arch brick, like this, and then secured it in place with a 1x4 tile with the two studs on either side. And you can see that creates a really cool smiley face, perfect for the Vault Boy. So then you can take two 1x2 plates and attach them on either side of this 1x4. And underneath the 1x2 plates, clip two 1x2 bricks. And then below those, you can either use two 1x1 slopes, or I've used some 1x2 slope pieces, just to further sculpt the lower parts of his face. Then in the center, you can take a 1x2 Technic brick, and place that also upside down. And then inside the hole of the Technic brick, take a 1x1 pin, one of the ones with a stud attachment on the end. And on the end of that pin, take your last 1x1 slope in beige, and clip that there to create the Volt Boy's nose. And then on top of that, place a 1x2 plate. And next to that, you can take two 1x2 brick, 1x1 bricks with a stud on the side, and clip them on either side of the nose to create area to attach the eyes. And the eyes are pretty simple since the Vault Boy has a fairly simple comic book cartoon style design. So you can just use two 1x1 studs in black to create his eyes. And that's already starting to shape up as the face. Then behind the eyes you can take two 1x1 bricks just the plain variety, and clip them behind there. And behind the 1x1 one one bricks, take some more of the 1x1s one with the stud attachment on the side, and just clip them so the studs both face outwards. And then this will be where you can attach his ears, which I've represented by some 2x2 two two round tiles. And I think they work really well. They're about the right sort of size and there really wasn't any better pieces to use for those. So then above the nose, you can attach a 2x2 plate, just in the middle there, and two 1x2 black jumper tiles, the ones with the studs in the center. And these will act as the Volt Boy's eyebrows, and you can see this allows them to even stick out in 3D, and I think that works really well, especially once the face and the hair is further built around that. Behind here, you can take one of the magnet pieces. And you've probably already worked out how the bubble head function works, because you have two magnets, you'll need to make sure that they repel from each other. And basically, when the top magnet comes into contact with the bottom magnet on the neck of the Volt Boy, you can see it just flies away, it repels. And this should provide them with the perfect amount of space so that they bounce up and down once you press on the head, or even from side to side. But you might need to loosen the sides a bit, just to allow a bit of extra space if you want some of that side to side motion. So with the face complete, you can place that down for now, and we can start by building up the front of his hair. So we'll start off by building the face, but this time we'll build it upwards. So you can take a 1x4 plate in beige, and then a yellow 1x2, you can go over there. And next we can start placing some of these 1x1s with a tooth design on them. These go here and over here. And another one can be placed underneath the 1x2 plate. And this will help hide some of the eyebrows, since you don't want them to be that visible on the side of his face. Then on top of this one, you can take a 1x3 slope and just place it behind there, so that covers that up nicely. And this 1x3 slope can actually go forward a bit, and clip onto this toothpiece. And then you can take your last toothpiece and just attach that underneath. And this just helps build up some of the ruffled hairstyle of the Volt Boy. Then you can take a 1x1 slope in yellow, and also clip that here to create the pointed, taller area of his hair. And you can put this assembly aside for now, 
because next we'll build the middle of his hair. So this can start off with a 2x4 plate, and on one side, you can place a 1x1 one one plate just in the corner there. On top of that, take a 1x2 slope and clip that over the top. And you can take two 1x1s and place them here and facing towards the 1x2 slope. Then in the center here, take a 1x2 tunnel just to provide some variation in the hair design and a 1x1 tile. And of course you can do some customization with the hair cell, but this is just the design that I've gone for. Then sticking out on this side, take your other 1x2 slope. And then in the middle, underneath of this whole structure, take a 2x2 plate and clip that there. And you can also take your 1x1s with the attachment on the side and clip them here. And I like to do it in the opposite direction as well. Just so the two studs are facing outwards. But that doesn't really matter because this part will be hidden. This is just to secure it to the rest of the head. And then you can secure this whole thing to the front of the hair. Like that. And this part is complete for now. Now the last part of the hair that we need to build is the back of the head. And this starts with a 1x4 brick with the studs on the side. And you can take two 1x2s and place them two studs apart underneath the brick. And another 1x2 just on the top there. And you can smooth off the back of the head by attaching some 1x3 tiles. And you're going to want to make sure that it's not actually attached in the middle, but that that anti-stud with the hole in the center is actually in line with the 1x4. And you'll see why, because this creates quite a good design when the rest of the tiles are placed next to it. This helps shape up the back of the head and give it more of a round appearance. So I like to have it so there's equal distance apart from the 1x3 tiles and the 1x2 tiles. Since I think that just looks a bit better and a bit more rounded. Then on either side of this 1x2, take two 1x1 one one plates and just place them down there. And two 1x1 one one slopes can be placed on top of those. This just helps round off the top of the back of the hair. And again, you can use two 1x1s one or a 1x2 one slope like I've used here and you have all the different parts of the head. So now it's time to connect all these pieces together. So just turn the back of the hair upside down and clip that onto the two bricks of the face. And you can see it's starting to match up quite nicely. So all that's left to do for this head is just make sure everything's nice and secured. Remove any gaps that have been created. And then attach the whole top of the hair using the anti studs underneath. Just align them with the black magnet piece. And it's a good idea to just hold the magnet so you don't push it too far when you clip all that on. And then you have the head and you can just rotate the nose, make sure it's facing the right way around. And it's a good idea just to grab these two sides and just spread them a bit apart just so the ball head has a little bit of room to move and wiggle once it's on the body. And to attach it to the body, it's pretty simple. You can just slot the magnet on the neck into the head and your bobble head should function pretty well, especially with the two magnets. And if you've adjusted some gaps on the side, you can see it also wobbles just like a normal bobble head. So that should be working good. And you now have your very own Lego Vault Boy bobblehead. So I hope you enjoy building this Lego Vault Tech bobblehead. And don't forget to leave a comment and give the video a like if you did. And I've also built many more Lego Fallout creations and how to builds, such as a life size Pip Boy 2000 and a Nuka Cola machine. So be sure to check those out if you're a fan of Fallout. So I'll see you guys next time with some more Lego creations. And thanks for watching.